good. <laughs> it's from your name. It's a what? It's from your name. Oh, I think it's from my name. What the hell? <laughs> no, it's not. All right, let's do this. Nah, it's dumb. That was dumb as hell. Hey, dog. Yeah. Woo! Oh, I feel like your edge guards are like, are, are looking pretty good. It's solid. It's like, you go out there, you get it. You get the, the thunders. I, I mean, it's very efficient. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh man.
I think on that, I think since Pichu is so high output, um, also if you want to go in any particular stage, feel free to, if it, honestly it's random, honestly, either way, but I, I think Pichu is, so, Pichu is so high output damage wise, like, the straight, all the straight hits that I get, like with the Metal Blade or whatever else, like it's not, it's not worth, like it's, it's better for you to like, be like kind of reactive almost, and like, and wait for openings. Than to just like accept like the trades and like the like the collateral damage because I know notice like you hit crash armor on both of us like one at that ledge and like I can't, we take the same amount of damage but like it's like worse for you. So I think just um, try like kind of um, being more uh, careful with your with with your exchanges. Take your time going out. Um, think about delaying just a little bit on the edge guard, just so I have like a l you have a little more time for me to like exhaust the resource. Oh, nice. So yeah, you're getting good conversions. Um, I feel like you kind of like scrap a little bit too much. Like you you brawl more than you need to, cause like you will get like a really like you got like a like a 55% like string, and it was like delicious. But then after that, you want to kind of like realize that like okay, now it's like anything can happen. Like anything can happen at that point. So like, but you can't really afford that uncertainty, cause. I'll, I'll maybe I'll live into like 150 on average, and like you're dying like much earlier. So even if and when you get those good conversions, like it's great for you. But then like after a point when it's like no longer like your show entirely, like wherever it's like okay now he could do something back. That's when you kind of need like stop pulling back and like looking for like okay when to, your exit strategy. Okay. Um, also off stage, like I, I mentioned um, kind of briefly, like when someone has like a lot of resources off stage, like you don't want to go out like accidentally hit them off. Then they can like kind of bob and weave, like get around you or delay a little bit to where you have to like either 
do your thing that you're gonna do to get to kill them too early so you can make it back still or they'll just like get back to stage way before you do and then maybe reverse edge guard so like in those kind of situations where you knock me off just be like okay like take like I, if the, the amount that you wait varies but like waiting like a like, like half a second to a second it's like okay and go now and then they have to kind of like oh uh, they're, they're lower they jumped already they aired out already they upbeat they did something so then you can like it's there's less stuff you have to like cover and like predict because they start with jump air dodge upbeat and you go out there it's like it's like rock paper scissors it's like a guess okay I mean, hopefully he'll like go high again thunder yeah so if you wait a little bit and they like burn anything they like okay no jump he has to like he has to upbeat when he gets to a certain point so if I get to him before then I get a free hit I get a free kill so like my games is what if I jump I wait and they don't use any resources? So like there's a risk of that. So like if you if you want, so if they're doing that, then if they're just like like drifting to stage, you can kind of cut them off with like a T jump, right? They're throwing out, so that's kind of just like in their way. But either they jump to avoid it, they air dodge to avoid it, they do whatever to avoid it. They might have to drift back to avoid it. They'll do something. So like that could be a good rule of thumb. Like shoot a T jump, make them avoid it. And then, like, okay, think about what resource they burned up to, to avoid it. And then you can kind of go out there with that knowledge. Because if you just go out there, then it's a guessing game. Like, you might be right, and you'll get a free kill. But if you can, like, kind of exhaust a resource or two, then you, like, it's, it's just aim at that point. It's like, all right, get out there. Oh, there, he's dead. Back to stay, or even a bear. So, yeah, there's a, there's a, a risk of, like, someone just, like, quickly going back to ledge. But... If they get knocked out pretty far, that's not really a, necessarily even an option. Um, there are like times where I would get like, you hit me to, like near a blast zone, and you're like, ah! I'm, I'm like, oh, all right, I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna go high. And then I like avoid the, like, the only thing you can do from way down there is thunder. So all I gotta do is like, I go like really high and air dodge past wherever you are, and like hope that like, you don't like thunder too close to me. So like, especially you hit them way far away, just like, kind of see what they do. Cause all the time, if someone air dodges immediately, I dare, if someone has a better recovery, they're usually like, directional air dodge first to get some like, movement. And then they'll like, kind of drift for a while, and then jump up beam. So like, if you notice they're like, they're directional air dodging like, immediately, a lot of the time, just like, run out, then that's, that's when you run out. Cause then you can get like, a free kill, they're in lag, they're like, freaking flailing all over the place. But if they're not doing that, and you jump out, then it's like, you're giving up your advantage, cause, Pretty much, you're both in the, a bad situation because you jump out there, you're both falling, and he's like, oh, I give him a cover, I can sue cover, I can and you're like, oh, well, I mean, if I hit you now, I die too. So you really want to make sure that you kind of, like, maintain that, like, that advantage state, and it's okay. And now I go. And, and T-Jones will be perfect for that, honestly. Alright. And, like, honestly, it, like, you already edge guarding pretty well, I was like, oh, shit. Uh, but if you, like, if you do that, like, your goal should be to like every time you get someone off stage, they should die. Like, I know it's like maybe it's like I know it seems like a lot, but I think you can do it. Just wait a sec, jump out there, finish them. All right, next stock. Let's like, cause again, Pichu, you can't really you, can't, you don't want a long drawn out battle. You want to just like, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Next game, and then hopefully you know you keep on with that pace. Cause if you start like. All right, let's like, uh, you hit me, I hit you, oh, uh, you, oh, uh, yeah, me and, I can go all day. He's like, actually, wait, <laughs> I can't go all day. I got to go to work at five. He's like, so, yeah, just uh, polish up that, um, the edge guard timing. I think you'll be doing, like, really, really good. Okay. Cool.